Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak from thebitcoinpodcast.com, as well as Quick Fix, smartphone and tablet repair in West Berlin, New Jersey, here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. And today I'm here to talk about the dreaded Bitcoin ransomware virus. Yikes. Well, first things first, let me explain what ransomware is. Ransomware is a virus that once it infects a computer, it locks it via encryption. All the files are encrypted, locked, and the encryption key is sent off-site to a hacker waiting for you to pay the ransom via their preferred payment method. This current ransomware is called WannaCry, and it's more of a worm than a virus. A virus is actually something that you would click on, say, hey, I want to download this, hey, I want to install this, and then something happens in the background. A worm is just where your computer is affected because you're on an infected network. You don't even have to visit a malicious website to be affected. Um, you just have to be on the network of somebody who was already affected. Uh, right now, the most common one is the WannaCry. It's affecting Windows only, and it was designed by the NSA and now is being used by hackers. Microsoft didn't even know about this exploit, and if they did, they probably sold it to the NSA for all we know. But the media is taking this opportunity to crucify Bitcoin um, as the preferred payment method for this most common ransomware. Um, right now, there is 99 plus countries and over 100,000 computers affected all over the world. Uh, we're seeing people call this the Bitcoin virus, uh, Bitcoin ransomware virus, uh, even though the title is WannaCry ransomware. Uh, they've been just asking for a payment method of Bitcoin, which is giving the media that leg to stand on, where the media is saying that Bitcoin should be illegal because it incentivizes criminal activity like Silk Road and like WannaCry. But here's the thing with those buying drugs and um, ransomware. They've been around well before Bitcoin. One of the first ransomware that I can recall was from like 1989. It was called the AIDS Trojan. And they asked you to send them money, just money in an envelope or a money order. And the, the media didn't go around saying that money orders are part of a scam. They should be illegal. They make it too easy for criminals to get paid. Or, um, you know, fast forward. There was another tr uh ransomware Trojan out there that was asking you to pay them in uh, PayPal or some other preferred you know, transfer system that was out around the time. Nobody crucified them. But right now, because the NSA is responsible for this and Microsoft is responsible for this, the media is crucifying the preferred payment method, Bitcoin. That's it. That is the absolute only connection Bitcoin has to this ransomware, is that that's the way that the hackers want to be paid. So I guess if the hackers wanted to get paid in unmarked Beanie Babies, Beanie Babies would be now doomed for illegalness. Don't buy a Beanie Baby. Only illegal people buy Beanie Baby. You don't want to break the law, do you? Well, that's, that's where they're treating Bitcoin. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, man. Just grinds my gears. Uh, let's see. Uh, what I think this will do to Bitcoin? Oh, phew. <laughs> I think this is going to make Bitcoin's price boom for a couple reasons, and I'll explain. Uh, the first is we have white hat hackers, we have Bitcoin enthusiasts, and we have the FBI watching these Bitcoin wallets. Uh, the hackers have an address that's public. They want these people to send them money to this public Bitcoin address. Well, we can watch that wallet. And whenever funds move from A to B, we could try to start to put the puzzle together to see who's behind this. And right now, none of the Bitcoin has moved. So one reason, that this could be possibly positive for the Bitcoin price is that the hackers are taking it out of supply. It's basically in cold storage. Another reason that I think that this could affect the Bitcoin price positively, uh, we have media talking about Bitcoin again. Now I get it, they're calling it the virus or the Bitcoin ransomware virus and, and they're crucifying Bitcoin for being the preferred transfer system of payment. But that's a problem that, you know, the media is going to have to deal with because I think the Google search for how to buy Bitcoin is going to blow up. And um, it, this could be it. This, this could be why Bitcoin's price has gone up. Um, it could be. But I don't assume that there's that many people that have been affected that actually bought Bitcoin to actually send to these guys. Um, another thing that could be affecting the price positively, uh, we have these um, Internet security agencies that are going to basically blow up overnight because we need internet security and this has proven it. 
Um, so we're going to see these internet security companies stockpiling Bitcoin to keep in cold storage in case this ever happens again or happens to them. This has affected government agencies. This has affected hospitals and schools. This has affected pretty much anybody running a Windows computer. It, it was it's bad. But I don't know if that many people actually bought Bitcoin. And if it if that many people did, if if that affected the price in the upward trajectory that we're in. Um, and I don't know if these hackers have enough Bitcoin from this to dump it and actually negatively affect the price. But those three things that I mentioned, uh, the cold storage of the hackers, the bad publicity is good publicity, and the fact that uh, internet security companies are going to start holding it in, off the supply as well, those things are definitely going to contribute to the price of Bitcoin going up. And um, the only what if is what if they have enough Bitcoin to dump at once to affect it negatively. And I highly doubt that they have that much Bitcoin or if they'll even do that, because the moment they do, the FBI, white hat hackers and the entire crypto enthusiast community will be right there on their tail. Um, another thing I wanted to cover about the WannaCry virus, your computer is not trash, your hard drive, maybe files certainly uh, you could probably reinstall the operating system on your hard drive again and start from scratch and just call everything a waste or worst case your hard drive isn't worth it and you just want to upgrade or whatever buy a new hard drive reinstall windows on it and call it a day uh, i've seen people that were willing to pay this just to get their computer back and that's not the case it's to get your files back your files are locked not your computer so you just reinstall your operating system from scratch and Hopefully your network is safe so it doesn't happen again. And there you go. Oh man, the WannaCry Bitcoin ransomware virus. This this is gonna be this is gonna be all over the media, man. They're gonna they're gonna tear us apart. I can just see it because they're not gonna want to push the blame on the NSA. Uh, the NSA. And I know Microsoft's not gonna go. Oh, it's our bad. So they're just gonna you know the preferred payment method. That's what they're gonna use to distract everybody. Bitcoin, because it's easy to send money from A to B with. Yeah, I could see that being positive, negative, but yet positive publicity. You know what I mean? I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a quick little rant to kind of get on topic about it and just to talk about it. Uh, if you did like this video, please smash the like button. If you dislike this video for any reason, I don't know what it could be, but go ahead, dislike button. Uh, just drop a comment. Let me know how I could turn that thumbs down around in my next video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Flick the alert bell right next to subscribe so you don't miss any of these uploads and you're not the last to know. And uh, as always, have a day. Not an expert.